Hi, my name is Andrew Yu. I went to Purdue University as a health science major with a minor in psychology and biology. Uh, during college, I was a TA for anatomy and physiology for two years. After that, I went to Duke Medical School. And right now, I am the instructor at Bricks Academy representing biology. Uh, this is for those who are pre-medicine or pre-dental. As for the, to go into medical or dental school, you need to take the MCAT or DAT. Each of these tests has a biology section. And here I am here to show you the differences and similarities and how to study the, for the biology section for these two exams. So first, the content. Uh, so on the left here, we have the MCAT right on the DAT. So the MCAT, you can say, is that it mainly tests foundational concepts while DAT is basic principles. So what that means is MCAT requires you to know the basic principles, but tie them all together, get the big picture. So because of that, it is passage-based questions where you have to interpret and also have multiple steps to solve it. Whereas the DAT is just discrete questions, direct knowledge and recall and conceptual. So DAT would be more like your typical AP biology or college biology exams. They ask, what is this? What is that, et cetera. Whereas the MCAT, they test more deeper knowledge uh, with the overall picture. It's very similar to how a doctor gets a list of symptoms from a patient and they have to, dis they have to conclude, what does this patient have? So MCAT is doing that with biological concepts. So if you see, the MCAT has 59 questions, with 10 passages, 44 of them being passage-based questions and only 15 being discrete questions, whereas the DAT only has 40 discrete questions. Now, it's easy to assume by this that, oh, the MCAT must be harder than the DAT. That is not an accurate assumption. The MCAT is definitely deeper, but the DAT, because they just ask a lot of what-if questions, they test more wider. Okay. Now, here are the different uh, aspects or subjects that are focused by each exam. So the MCAT, you can, MCAT mainly has a high focus on biochemistry, molecular biology, and physiology, whereas the DAT focuses more on ecology, microbiology, and anatomy. So based on this, it's not safe to assume that just because you studied for the MCAT, you can take DAT and vice versa. Because each exam has higher different focuses on the topic, it requires different uh, uh, lessons. Here are the course recommendations that I recommend uh, for the DAT or MCAT biology. Now, general biology is a requirement for both as it's a requirement to apply for medical or dental school. However, taking biochemistry, molecular or cell biology and anatomy and physiology will essentially provide the, all the necessary knowledge for these exams. So just because you took general biology, it does not mean you are ready for the TAT or MCAT. You're just getting one fourth of the knowledge. Now let's take a look at some of the questions comparing DAT and MCAT. So first, here's a DAT question. Which of the following is the final electron acceptor in the electron transport chain during aerobic respiration? So again, this is just the general what is that question. And the answer here is going to be oxygen. Okay. Now let's get MCAT, which is during aerobic respiration, electrons from NADH are transferred to the electron transport chain. If complex one is inhibited, which of the following is most likely to occur? So here, we're, we are looking at the electron transport chain, but now we need to look at the overall big picture, the whole chain itself, and see, okay, this part is inhibited, so what are the next following steps that's going to be affected? So here the answer is going to be B, oxygen consumption will decrease because complex one is inhibited, this chain doesn't work. If this chain doesn't work, it doesn't need the final electron transport acceptor. So that means the oxygen will not be used. So as you can see, the DAT is very much just knowledge and recall, where the MCAT requires you to connect the chain, connect the dots of a bigger picture. So when we teach DAT, the DAT folks practice will be mostly focused on lots of practice, solving the questions. Whereas the MCAT, we, have a, we tend to focus a bit on interpreting the question better, understanding the overall picture and what it's asking. So 
that is the similarities and differences between the MCAT and DAT biology and how we would plan to teach.